Hello, Healthies. Welcome to Healthy Living Explains. Today, we'll be discussing 14 essential tips for cancer prevention to empower yourself with knowledge and healthy lifestyle choices. Let's start. In today's video, we're exploring the best way to prevent cancer by understanding its causes. The five main factors contributing to cancer are heredity, age, lifestyle, environment, and biological and health-related factors. While we can't change our genetic makeup or chronological age, we have significant control over our lifestyle, environment, and biological and health-related factors. By adopting healthier habits, reducing exposure to harmful environmental factors, and understanding the biology of our body, we can influence gene expression and potentially lower our cancer risk. Furthermore, we can't reverse our chronological age, but we can affect our biological age by living a healthier lifestyle. 1. Avoid carcinogenic chemicals and irradiation. Exposure to carcinogenic chemicals and radiation can significantly increase the risk of developing cancer. By making conscious choices in your everyday life, you can minimize your exposure to these harmful substances. Limit pesticide use for your home and yard. Try to use fewer chemical pesticides. Instead, opt for natural alternatives like organic gardening techniques pest-repelling plants, and biological pest control methods. These environmentally friendly options can help protect you and your family from exposure to harmful chemicals. Choose natural cooking materials. When it comes to cooking, opt for materials like glass and stainless steel, which are less likely to release harmful substances when heated. Avoid non-stick cookware made with PTFE or PFOA, as they can release toxic fumes when overheated. Wear natural fabrics. Choose clothing made from natural fibers like cotton, wool, and leather, which are less likely to contain harmful chemicals. Synthetic materials may contain dyes and additives that can irritate the skin or cause other health issues. By wearing natural fabrics, you can reduce your exposure to potentially carcinogenic substances. Avoid unnecessary radiation exposure. Limit your exposure to ionizing radiation, such as that produced by medical imaging, by discussing the necessity of each procedure with your healthcare provider. Additionally, Protect yourself from the sun's harmful UV rays by wearing sunscreen and protective clothing. Create a healthy home environment. Use non-toxic cleaning products, air purifiers, and house blends to maintain a healthy indoor environment. Keep your living space well ventilated and free from dampness to minimize the risk of mold and other airborne irritants. 2. Use organic food. Organic foods are produced without the use of synthetic pesticides, chemical fertilizers, genetically modified organisms, or artificial preservatives. By choosing organic options, you can reduce your exposure to potentially harmful chemicals and support a more sustainable food system. Organic fruits and vegetables. Consuming organic produce can help limit your exposure to pesticide residues and synthetic fertilizers. These chemicals have been linked to various health issues, including an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Organic fruits and vegetables are also often richer in antioxidants and other nutrients that support cancer prevention. Organic meat and dairy. Organic meat and dairy products come from animals raised without the use of hormones, antibiotics, or genetically modified feed. These practices can result in healthier, more ethically produced food. Hormone use in animal agriculture has been linked to hormone-related cancers, while overuse of antibiotics contributes to antibiotic resistance, which can compromise our ability to fight infection. Organic grains and legumes. Opting for organic grains and legumes can help you avoid exposure to synthetic pesticides and GMOs. Whole grains and legumes are an essential part of a cancer-preventive diet as they are rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Organic processed foods. While processed foods should be limited in a healthy diet, choosing organic options can help reduce your exposure to artificial additives, preservatives, and GMOs, which may have potential health risks. 3. Use less sugar. Sugar, specifically glucose, plays a significant role in the growth and proliferation of cancer cells. Cancer cells have a higher demand for glucose compared to normal cells, as they rely on a process called glycolysis for energy production. By using glycolysis, cancer cells can grow and multiply more rapidly, which contributes to tumor formation and progression. To reduce your cancer risk, it's crucial to limit your sugar consumption. Here are some practical tips to help you achieve this. Be mindful of hidden sugars. Many processed foods contain added sugars, even those that don't taste sweet. Read food labels and look out for ingredients like high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, and dextrose. Choose natural sweeteners. Opt for natural sweeteners like honey, maple syrup, or stevia, which have a lower glycemic index than refined sugar. However, use them in moderation, as they can still contribute to overall sugar intake. 
Limit sugary beverages, soft drinks, fruit juices, and sweetened teas are significant sources of added sugars. Replace these with water, herbal teas, or unsweetened beverages. Incorporate whole foods. Focus on consuming whole, unprocessed foods that are naturally low in sugar, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide essential nutrients without the added sugars found in processed foods. Control portion sizes. Eating smaller portions can help you consume less sugar overall. Pay attention to serving sizes and try to avoid mindless snacking. Manage cravings. If you crave something sweet, opt for healthier options like fresh fruit or dark chocolate, which contain natural sugars and beneficial nutrients. Be cautious with sugar substitutes. While artificial sweeteners may have fewer calories, they can still contribute to an overall preference for sweet taste, leading to increased sugar consumption over time. Use them sparingly and focus on developing a taste for less sweet foods. 4. Fasting and the Ketogenic Diet both have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, which can help reduce the risk of insulin resistance. Fasting involves periods of not eating or consuming very few calories, while the ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet that encourages your body to use fat for energy instead of glucose. However, it's important to consult your healthcare provider before making significant changes to your diet, especially if you have existing health conditions. 5. Regular Exercise Regular exercise is essential for maintaining good health and has been shown to lower the risk of several types of cancer, including breast, colon, endometrial, and lung cancer. In addition to maintaining a healthy weight, regular exercise boosts immune function, improves hormone regulation, and enhances insulin sensitivity. To reap the cancer preventive benefits of exercise, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity per week, along with muscle strengthening exercises at least twice a week. Here are some tips to help you stay active. Find activities you enjoy. You're more likely to stick to an exercise routine if you genuinely enjoy the activity. Try various forms of exercise, such as walking, jogging, swimming, or dancing, to find what you like best. Set realistic goals. Start with small, achievable goals and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts as you become more fit. Make it a social activity. Exercising with friends or family members can make it more enjoyable and help you stay accountable. Mix it up. Incorporate a mix of cardio, strength training, and flexibility exercises to keep your workouts varied and engaging. Listen to your body. Rest when needed and avoid pushing yourself too hard, as this can lead to injury or burnout. 6. Reduce stress. Chronic stress can negatively impact your overall health and increase your risk of various diseases, including cancer. High levels of stress can weaken your immune system, making it harder for your body to identify and eliminate cancer cells. Moreover, stress can lead to unhealthy habits such as overeating, smoking, or excessive alcohol consumption, which are all linked to an increased risk of cancer. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my previous video about how to manage stress. Check it out from the above link. 7. Improve your immune system. Your immune system plays a crucial role in identifying and eliminating cancer cells in your body. By maintaining a strong and healthy immune system, you can reduce your risk of developing cancer and support your overall health. Don't forget to check out my previous video on how to boost your immune system for more tips and information. 8. Lose weight. Excess body fat, especially around the waist, can contribute to the development of several types of cancer, including breast, colon, endometrial, and kidney cancer. By maintaining a healthy weight, you can reduce your cancer risk and support your overall health. Remember to take a look at my earlier video on shedding weight and belly fat for additional advice and insights. 9. Balance your hormones. Hormonal imbalances have been linked to an increased risk of breast, prostate, and endometrial cancers, among others. By ensuring that your hormones are in balance, you can support your overall health and reduce your risk of developing cancer. Eating a balanced diet, maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, managing stress, and avoiding exposure to endocrine disruptors are some strategies to help you balance your hormones. 10. Cure Chronic Inflammation Chronic inflammation can damage your body's cells, potentially leading to the development of cancer. Identifying and addressing the root causes of inflammation is crucial for cancer prevention. In addition to having a healthy lifestyle, eating an anti-inflammatory diet known for its anti-inflammatory properties, 
such as berries, leafy greens, fatty fish, and nuts significantly reduces chronic inflammation. 11. Get vaccinated. Some cancers are caused by viral infections, such as human papillomavirus and hepatitis B. By getting vaccinated against these infections, you can significantly reduce your risk of developing cancers associated with them. Let's explore the importance of vaccinations and how they can help prevent cancer. HPV vaccine. The human papillomavirus is a common sexually transmitted infection that can lead to cervical, anal, or pharyngeal, and other types of cancer. The HPV vaccine is recommended for both males and females, typically administered in adolescents, but can also be given to adults up to a certain age. Talk to your healthcare provider about whether the HPV vaccine is right for you. Hepatitis B vaccine. Hepatitis B is a viral infection that can cause liver cancer. The hepatitis B vaccine is typically given to infants shortly after birth, but it's also recommended for certain high-risk adults who have not been previously vaccinated. Consult your healthcare provider to determine if you should receive the hepatitis B vaccine. Stay up to date with routine vaccinations. In addition to cancer preventive vaccines, it's essential to stay up to date with other routine vaccinations, such as the flu shot and pneumococcal vaccine. These vaccines help protect against infections that can weaken your immune system, making you more susceptible to other illnesses, including cancer. Discuss vaccination recommendations with your healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider can help you determine which vaccines are appropriate for you based on your age, medical history, and risk factors. Be sure to consult with them about your vaccination needs to ensure you're adequately protected. 12. Practice good hygiene and safe sex. Certain cancers, such as cervical and anal cancer, can be caused by infections like human papillomavirus, which is primarily transmitted through sexual contact. By practicing good hygiene and safe sex, you can significantly reduce your risk of contracting infections that can lead to cancer. Let's explore some essential habits to adopt for cancer prevention. Practice good personal hygiene. Regular hand washing bathing, and maintaining overall cleanliness can help protect against infections that may weaken your immune system and increase your risk of developing cancer. Engage in safe sex. Use barrier protection, such as condoms, during sexual activity to reduce the risk of contracting sexually transmitted infections like HPV and HIV. These infections can lead to cancer, so it's essential to take steps to protect yourself and your partner. Get regular checkups and STI screenings. Talk to your healthcare provider about the appropriate frequency of checkups and STI screenings screenings based on your age, medical history, and risk factors. Early detection and treatment of infections can help prevent the development of cancer. Limit the number of sexual partners. Having multiple sexual partners can increase your risk of contracting STIs, which in turn can increase your risk of cancer. Consider limiting the number of sexual partners you have and engaging in open communication with your partner about your sexual health. Get vaccinated. As we mentioned in a previous point, getting vaccinated against infections like HPV and hepatitis B can help protect against cancers associated with these viruses. Consult your healthcare provider to determine which vaccines are appropriate for you. 13. Get enough sleep. A lack of quality sleep can negatively impact your immune system, hormone balance, and stress levels, all of which can contribute to an increased risk of cancer. By ensuring that you get enough restorative sleep, you can support your body's natural defenses and reduce your cancer risk. 14. Regular screenings and checkups. Regular screenings can help detect cancer in its early stages when it's more easily treatable. And checkups with your healthcare provider can help identify any changes in your health that may warrant further investigation. Let's explore some tips for staying on top of your cancer screenings and checkups. Know your risk factors. Understand your personal and family medical history, as well as any other risk factors that may influence your chances of developing cancer. This information can help your healthcare provider determine the most appropriate screenings and checkup schedule for you. Follow recommended screening guidelines. Different types of cancer have specific screening recommendations based on age, sex, and risk factors. Be sure to follow these guidelines and consult with your healthcare provider about any additional screenings that may be necessary. Schedule regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Regular checkups allow your healthcare provider to monitor your overall health and discuss any concerns or symptoms that may arise. They can also provide guidance on cancer prevention strategies and lifestyle modifications to reduce your risk. Don't ignore warning signs. If you notice any unusual or persistent changes in your health, such as unexplained weight loss, pain, or fatigue, be sure to discuss these symptoms with your healthcare provider. Early detection is key to improving cancer outcomes. Stay informed. Keep yourself updated on the latest cancer research and screening guidelines. Stay proactive in your healthcare and engage in open communication with your healthcare provider about your cancer prevention strategies.
In conclusion, cancer prevention involves a multifaceted approach that includes understanding the various factors contributing to the disease and making conscious lifestyle choices to reduce your risk by focusing on aspects such as avoiding harmful chemicals and radiation. Consuming organic food, limiting sugar intake, exercising regularly, managing stress, and maintaining a healthy immune system, you can significantly lower your chances of developing cancer. Additionally, staying up to date with vaccinations, practicing good hygiene and safe sex, getting enough sleep, and prioritizing regular screenings and checkups are crucial components of a comprehensive cancer prevention strategy. By staying informed, proactive, and committed to your overall health, you can take meaningful steps to protect yourself and your loved ones from this life-threatening disease. If you found this video enjoyable, you will likely enjoy the next one. Stay with us and master your health and gain a deeper understanding of how the body works. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you never miss a video that could potentially change your life.